It is I, Brendan Hodek, a humble speech coach. I come to break down your voice. Know this, only one may break down my voice. One whose worth lies far within, a diamond in the rough. Oh, sweet dude. Thanks. Today's episode, we will be breaking down the voice of the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. Figure out just six components, and you can sound like the Cave of Wonders. Let's break this voice down. Component number one, the vocal cords. The vocal cords will be the most important of all the components for this voice. Interestingly enough, the true vocal cords won't be doing much at all. If you listen closely to the voice, there is a great deal of decompression. The true vocal cords themselves do not necessarily need to be activated for this voice. There are some moments when you hear them vibrating a little bit, so you can choose just how much of them you want to use. The true source of this distorted voice comes from body parts above the true vocal cords. If you remember in Miss Piggy's video and in the Jigsaw video, we discussed how the epiglottis and the false vocal cords can be used to create distortion. I am primarily using the epiglottis for this voice, but you can get a very similar sound using the false vocal cords. Component number two, the larynx. Even though this voice sounds very dark and timbre, we actually want to raise the larynx. This will help us get everything in position to make creating the distortion from the epiglottis and the false vocal cords possible. Component number three, the tongue. We want to clench the tongue and pull it backwards. This will enable the back of the tongue to interact with the epiglottis, giving us that distortion. We also want to try to lower the back of the tongue. A higher larynx doesn't typically create a dark sounding voice, so we need some other things to help us. The lowering of the back of the tongue will aid in creating the darkness of the voice that we are looking for. If I don't lower the back of the tongue, it will sound like, Who disturbs my slumber? If I do lower the back of the tongue, it will sound more like Who disturbs my slumber? Component number four, the soft palate. In addition to lowering the back of the tongue, we want to raise the soft palate to assist with creating that darker sound. The higher and rounder you can make it, the better. Imagine what the Cave of Wonders looks like. We want it all open and rounded in the back. Component number five, articulation. The Cave of Wonders has excellent enunciation. He makes sure to give every sound its full value and articulates them properly. You will hear that his fricative sounds, these include s, z, sh, z, f, v, f, v, and h, are often a bit more sibilant than normal. Instead of saying slumber, we want to say slumber. Additionally, we want to round the mouth similar to an O or O shape for most of his sounds to also assist in creating that darker sounding voice. Instead of O disturbs my slumber, we want to round the mouth to make it sound like O disturbs my slumber. Component number six, prosody. In order to get that epic sounding style of speaking, we want to elongate all of his words, stretching them out so that there is a flowing style of speaking. He is a pretty slow speaker. His voice is relatively monotone, despite how intense it sounds. Also, he uses something often referred to as linking or continuity. If you listen, there is no separation between the last sound of one word and the first sound of the next, 
we want to link all of the words and sounds on a given exhale together. For example, if we take the sentence, Adam ate an apple, instead of sounding like, Adam ate an apple, we want it to sound like, Adam made an apple. In the Cave of Wonders voice, that would sound like, Adam made an apple. Let's recap. Component number one, the vocal cords. We want a decompressed voice that uses structures such as the epiglottis and the false vocal cords to create distortion. Use the true vocal cords as you see fit. Component number two, the larynx. We're going to have to raise the larynx in order to help us access those body parts for distortion. Component number three, the tongue. We want to clench and pull backward the back of the tongue to enable it to interact with the epiglottis, and we want to lower it to assist with creating the darker sounding voice. Component number four, the soft palate. Raise the soft palate, directing air out of the mouth to help create that darker timbre. Component number five, articulation. Enunciate well, make your fricative sibilant, and round the mouth. Component number six, prosody. We want to elongate all words, keep the voice relatively monotone, speak slowly, and link all the sounds together on a given exhale. Thank you for watching New York Speech Coaching's Voice Breakdown, episode number 10. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. See you next time. Who disturbs my slumber?